Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I love? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence, where patrons get access to a patron-only Discord, ad-free videos, and the joy of knowing they help support this channel. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today I have a pin for you that I like a whole lot and I wasn't expecting to. This was uh, kind of a surprise for me. I picked this pin up, this Pilot Explorer. Uh, I don't know, just some order that I was making and I needed to hit the free shipping threshold or something. I don't know. And these go for about 20, 25 bucks. And so I was like, yeah, I'll throw it in there. Why not? It's a Pilot. It's got to be pretty good. Uh, and it turns out I really like this pen. So this one, as you can see, is pretty much entirely empty. So I'm going to use, I'm, I'm going to be using this other one that um, that a very nice viewer sent out. This is uh, another version of this pen that is in Japan called the Lightive, and this was a Japanese exclusive color. They're like, "Hey, Mike, you like a, you like an orange pen? And you know what? I really like an orange pen, and I kind of love this one." So let's talk about the Pilot Explorer a bit. I think one of the reasons that this gets overlooked is that the, it's using the same kind of nib. It is in the same price range as pens like the MR, or as we sometimes call it, the Metropolitan. It's using the same like nib arrangement and all that jazz. And this one gets all the buzz and this one kind of gets left out. It also looks a lot like a pen that probably, I mean, you used in college or high school or whatever, just like I did. Or heck, maybe you're using today because these are still great pens. These are the Pilot Precise V5s and they are a liquid ink rollerball. And this is sort of uh, sort of a fountain pen version of it. It's a little bit bigger uh, and uh, I, I like it. I like it more than I like these, although I use these for, dude, I don't even know, like a decade or two because they are pretty great i mean i'm still using them so like decades for sure so really good pen and so let's uh let's let's like zhuzh it up a little bit and make it the explorer or the lightive if you are in a different market so this pen has a plain finial on top and bottom there it has a few ridges around the edge it has this sort of uh throwback eye on it you have this very nice uh, nice metal clip it's a pretty stiff clip it's not going to break off or anything but it will definitely go over a shirt pocket or a placket if you need it to uh, it's got a nice ple pleasing curve to it it does say japan right there and uh, japan there as well pilot japan and that's like that's all the branding the real branding is this big eye up here uh, the barrels on these are very nice feeling plastic it's not like this one's just like the demonstrator version and it like they just feel really good these pens I can't explain exactly why they just they just kind of do they don't feel cheap or anything like that and at 25 bucks you know they shouldn't so in here as you can see right on this clear one you have a nice cap liner in there that will keep your nib uh, wet and your ink flowing you have a very nice section here which has a really a uh, pretty good diameter this is uh, goes from 8.6 millimeters down at the very tip up to about 11 millimeters here so a pretty nice hourglass there and um, it feels good in my hand that's right kind of where I like my my section widths right at probably about 10 ish 10 or 11 right here up the in the barrel there it does have this little ridge here and that's how it connects to the inside of the the cap it's got a very pleasing and positive click if you're a person that compulsively does this you might annoy you might annoy your coworkers, but like that's kind of on them, right? So you have a little bit of a translucent gray section there. You can see the feed and you can see the feed a little bit in here as well. Unscrewing the body, you will see this actually has a converter on it. And uh, I, this one is, is used up. So I just like use a little squeeze converter because because uh, I like it just fine. You can also, of course, use pilot. Um, uh, pilot converters and cartridges in these pens with no problem at all and actually looking at this it looks like is that spray painted or something like did they did they make this orange through a lacquer or a spray process that's really interesting i didn't actually notice that before but uh, in order to uh, load this pen up with ink you just uh, pop the cartridge on there or the converter onto this little uh, as you can see there it's kind of got a uh, like a little little stabby thing there to open the converter for you but you just poke that on there uh, and away you go. If you are using a converter, you want to put an empty one on there, submerge your nib in the ink, and then uh, do whatever's appropriate for the converter. For these squeeze ones, you just squeeze this bar, uh, and then uh, I like to squeeze the bar, put the nib in the ink, and then let the bar go. Otherwise, you're blowing air into the into the ink and it can bubble and splash and that's not great and you just let it suck up some ink and uh, and you're good to go you can't actually tell how much ink is in there with the squeeze converter but that's just kind of a 
price I pay for just using that very simple system. And there's a little more ink on my hands. You can never have too much ink on your hands. Am I right, folks? So uh, there you go. The more common converters are these little um, uh, Con 40s in here, which I think are a perfectly good converter. It's just a little piston converter. You just twist that. So there you go. I think I used the squeeze one because I was just out of these and couldn't, you know, didn't want to wash that yet. So uh, whoop, whoop, there we go. All right, so let's look at this next to a whole bunch of other pens. We can uh, take a look at a, at a writing sample sort of situation. Uh, that's where we're headed. Let's get over there. Okay, so here we have it next to a whole bunch of other pens. We have our Platinum 3776. This is the Sans Komodo version. The Pilot MR or Metropolitan. This is like the White Tiger version. Our uh, Pilot Lightive or Explorer, as it is called in the US. The Pilot Prera, the Twisby Eco, and the Lamy safari so as you can see this is a very normal sized pen the prera is a really small pen uh but the rest of these are all pretty much in the same size spec there uh capped length of 5.6 inches or 142.2 millimeters i'm gonna go ahead and leave this here while i take off all these caps very quickly uh, at least in your reckoning and uh you know, let's, let's see how these look with the caps off All right, so there they are with the caps off. And as you can see, this is right about the same exact length as the Twisby Eco and the Lamy Safari there. It's a little bit longer than the MR, but just a touch. It's uh, also longer than the Platinum and a good bit longer than the Prera. But I'm going to go ahead and post the Prera because I think the Prera is kind of meant to be used posted. Uh, when you post it, the Prera is actually the longest of the bunch, but uh, nice and light pen. You'll also probably notice, if we look carefully here, that these uh, these pens all have the same nib on them, as does the Pilot Plumix. They're all using this uh, this nib across the line, and so you can uh, switch those nibs out. You just have to pull the nib and feed out, replace the nib, and poke it back in. Not a big deal. If you'd like to get a really nice stub nib, uh, these Pilot Plumixes come with a really nice stub nib. Sometimes it's called the C-nib uh, on some of these other ones for cursive. Uh, it's a really nice little stub. So you can get a variety of nibs for these. You can swap them in and out. And they all do look a little bit different, including, uh, I didn't picture it here, but the Kakuno and some other pins in that Pilot line. All excellent writers. Just a different aesthetic and different, uh, different price points. With this one actually being uh, the highest price point among them in the U.S. That will vary by market, though, probably. All right, let's put all these caps back on and we'll do a little writing sample here for you. Okay, so here we have our Lightiv. Let's go ahead and do our little writing sample. This is a little Clairefontaine writing pad. Uh, I like these for all these little examples because it works really well with fountain pens and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just a really nice paper. So let's see how this works after having uh, been set there with its cap off and then waved around with its cap off for quite a while. Let's see if it starts up. So this has been uh, my Pilot Light of Explorer. It has a medium nib on here. The nibs on these are all steel. The bodies are resin, and uh, I think it's a pretty darn good pen. The medium is a little bit on the thin side, perhaps, but it is Japanese, and so that is not a big surprise to us. I've been using my Pannonia and uh, Ink Dependence, my uh, custom ink, for uh, for, the, for a while on this pen, actually. This is a Barahe, and it is fantastic. You can find that on my website. And you can find this, or more likely this one on all sorts of places that will sell pilot pens these are uh, these are surprisingly good pens and in fact out of the ones that use this uh this nib configuration uh, I th I think actually the Explorer is probably my favorite. I really like the Plumix as well, but uh, it's something about the lightweight and the feeling of the section is just a little bit more pleasing to me than the uh, than the Pilot MR. And it's in about the same price range as a lot of these pens, including like uh, the Lamy and the and the Twisby. Although uh, these are generally a little bit higher priced, but this is a really nice pen. It's something that you can definitely get somebody I think interested in fountain pens in, and uh, it's uh, it's just a really pleasing nib to use. A really pleasing pen to hold, and um, I can't quite explain why I like it so much. I just really enjoy the Explorer, so give the Explorer a chance. Upgrade from those uh, precise V5s and V7s uh, of the olden times, and uh, you know, use a fountain pen with your own ink and that sort of jazz. It's uh, it's a it's a really nice way to go. So until next time, think about what you put out in the world, make it a better place. Barahe, and peace out.